So you imagine that in order to become an engineer, look, obviously not everyone becomes an engineer. You have to have a particular temperamental proclivity to become an engineer. You have to be extraordinarily interested in things rather than people. He was just doing what an engineer type would do when someone asked him to provide feedback because he's not thinking politically. He's not thinking, oh, they just want to hear what they already said. He thought they actually wanted some fact. Then you can be a attorney, a research analyst, an editor, an advertising manager, a chemist, an engineer, an executive manager, etc. That's that's the now that's not the high end for IQ, by the way. And then also to really be good at it, you probably have to be reasonably stress tolerant and also somewhat conscientious. So you, you know, people when you think, well, why is it that smart people are at the top of dominance hierarchies? And intelligence in large part is speed. That's not all of it is. As a clinician, you're not a scientist. You're, a, you're an engineer of the soul. That's a better way of thinking about it because it's an applied, it's like engineering, it's an applied science. So that makes it not a science exactly. You're gonna be the person who's working in AI, right? I know some of these people. They better be good people because they're gonna build whatever they're like into their machines. So they better have their heads screwed on straight because they're going to get amplified like mad. 